Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Third episode on a row that I'm recording and since we're only three episodes you can you can tell what grouping that is, but let's get going. Heading up to get some missiles. I hold on, hold on. Go 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 go! I love that effect. It's so cool. Alright. So let's head up to first the navigation room, which I don't think we even need at this point, but yeah we don't. And then the data room. In the data room, just stand on this platform in here and Go, 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 go! Missile data downloaded. And as it says on the screen, to use missiles, hold down R and then press the fire button, which is B. So heading out here. What? Power outage? <laughs> Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm rec recording huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missi missiles, you can use a recharge room. Or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Well, yes, it is. Missiles. Oh, you're only. I said my objective is clear. Stop talking to me. Boo. Boo. Go away, boo. That's right. Okay, so moving on here, as you can see here, this this thing looks a little funny, and everyone knows that the solution to this problem is with a newfound ability, jumping. Didn't work. Hmm. Well, if jumping didn't work. Let's try ducking. Ducking didn't work either. Hmm. Can you think of a newfound ability that we could use on this metal grate here? Five minutes later. Missiles! So just hit that with a missile and it blows open and you can travel through here. As you can see the map is green now, well at least in the top right, the mini map. Uh, this, this means that this is secret area I suppose, and it doesn't show up on the map. Well, at least the map that you get at the beginning of the area. Those blocks right there, when you stand on them, they break. That, that is the only way to break them. And these blocks here, you have to shoot them with something. Jetting! Go back to your artificial and water-based base, I guess. Go, go, go! And these are ladders, I believe. This, yeah, this is the first time we saw them. Um, if, you, if you're on the wall, then you can move up and down, and you can jump off. It's pretty cool. Probably the best thing ever, sarcasm. Okay. So. I feel like there should be something over here, but I know that there isn't. Anyway, let's get going. Right here. That's our first instance of a missile tank. This raises our maximum missile capacity by five. Really handy thing to have. Oh, I accidentally went through here. But, as you can see in the mini-map, there's a circle there. That means that there's a hidden item. And, um, break this block here, you get another missile tank. And then up in the top right again, you can see that it's now a dot. That's that's really helpful in finding stuff. More gelatin destruction. And back we're back to the main deck. Um Yeah, okay. So it's this way. I'm just gonna head up here to the save room. And this is this is something else in the game, the respawn thing. Um sometimes when you kill something, the X will just fly around and go back and re reanimate it. Like that. And it can be it can be annoying sometimes. Anyway, save room. Let's save quickly. I love that saving effect too. It's even cooler than the recharge one. It's just letters flying around. Anyway. Okay, gelatin. Gelatin. Alright. And right here, you see we have an eyeball. And ah blah blah. When when there's no people like that, that means you can't do anything about it, you have to just dodge it when it shoots that missile. But hopefully when it does have a people, you shoot it with a missile. It takes three shots. And whoop, whoop! And when you kill it, this red oh crap. Well, there's that was a red thing there, and um, if you've been able to see it, you would like you would have known that it would heal me all my health at this point in the game, and all my missiles at this point in the game. So simple platforming here. You, if you're on one of these ledges, hold the direction that you want to go in and jump. Uh, th wow! We need <sighs> once again. I'm failing at this point. It's not a good sign. Energy tank. This is the first energy tank in the game. It will raise your maximum energy by 99, as you can probably see in the top left. 
There's a bar right there. That's the energy tank. When the, uh, when the number next to that goes to zero, it'll go to my next energy tank since I have two now. And what is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Meet Arachnus, the first boss in the game. What you want to do is just shoot him with missiles when he's facing you and not doing that. He'll, um, he has three forms of attacks. That slash thing that he just did rolling at you, and one that he's surprising hasn't shown us yet, but, um, there it is, the fire. He spits out fire, you don't want to step in that because, you know, obviously, fire creates an earthquake, and earthquakes hurt you. Anyway, so just shoot this guy. He's, he's a pushover anyway. Nobody likes mole things that are, for some reason, named Arachnus. At least I believe that that's his name. Bam, bam, bam. Missile spam for the win. So here's some... Um, when he comes to your side, just jump on this, these ledges up here to get out of the way. Ah! And when he does that slash back, you should do that too. Just to dodge it. So really easy boss, but of course he is the first boss, so makes sense. And am I, am I gonna run out of... Wait. Oh, you don't actually have to shoot him with missiles. You can just normally hit him. It's one of the... Huh. I always seem to forget that. And so shoot him a bunch, and he goes. It goes into this phase of the fight, which is this is a core X. This is pretty. You can find these after pretty much any boss fight in the game. Um, you just gotta shoot with missiles, and eventually it'll break. Like this, and right here, we got our first major X ability: the Morph Ball. Staple of the Metroid series. Press twice to morph. Well, duck twice to morph. Very handy thing there, and you can go into. Like crevices like that too, really handy. So with our first boss defeated, let's let's continue on. Green area, and do some platforming. Pretty simple platforming here. It's, at this point, it's, it's pretty cool like this. You gotta shoot, break those blocks, and then do that. All right. So about this game, um, and about like my history of playing it. Um, to be honest, I never I never played this as a kid. I picked it up like probably a few months ago, and it was really fun. So I wanted to do a let's play of it, and that that is that is a history, pretty boring history, but I don't I don't care. It's still it's still a history. Uh, this is the last game in the Metroid timeline, so I don't know why I'm doing it first, but I am, so that's good. Anyway, save data, yes. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better. Just feedback in general. Have a nice day. That is a command, lol, JK.